The American Bison is truly one of the greatest trophies North America has to offer, but tags are extremely limited. I was fortunate enough to draw a tag in Utah on a once in a lifetime opportunity on the book cliffs and harvest this great bull. It was truly something emotional to me and very breathtaking. So having the pro membership sweepstakes, I wanted to provide that same opportunity to all of our members. To me, this, this is America. Millions of these things roam the plains and that's not the case anymore. So it's very heartfelt when you get to hunt one of these things. So finding a place that was truly an opportunity to physically hunt as well as have great accommodations was something we pursued. And Steve Chavez at Rancho de Chavez truly had the same exact vision that I have and he's really passionate about the American Bison. You really got to hand it to Steve. I mean, tremendous host, really goes the extra mile to make sure everyone's satisfied and comfortable. And I really appreciate his involvement and participation in the hunt. It made it an even more enjoyable event. This ranch and this lodge here is just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, five star, great meals, great people. I definitely want to thank Steve and Mike for giving me the opportunity to come on this trip. Never done anything like this. This is great. The chef is superb. When he serves the meal, he stands up and tells us exactly what it is we're getting for that evening. You might gain a little weight while you're here. <laughs> yeah, I can't really say enough about the pro membership. I'm a lucky guy, I guess, but I've been drawn three times. I won a couple of the you know, door prizes and then this. And I don't know anybody that's pulling any strings for me, I can tell you that. You can watch it every, every 10 days in the video. They pull your name out of a drum, he pulls it up, flips it, and there it is. It's just amazing what kind of hunts are in this thing for $300 a year, guys. I mean, I'm proof in the pudding right here. Had a great hunt and we can put in and put in for all these different states and spend hundreds of dollars in every state just trying to get bonus points even, you know. You might as well do this and have a better chance. The bison was feeding from my right to my left, head down. I was able to sneak up behind the cedar and stay low, but I had to come up and shoot over the top of it. And I came up, and when he saw me come up and into, you know, into his view at 16 yards, he turned and went the, the other way, which took him out of the cameraman's view, and I moved to my left to get the shot. So we kind of had a plan. Even if, the, if, even if I did make a good shot, which I feel I did, it, I would put him down if he didn't just go down within the first little bit. The humanity, like you say, is probably the best thing. Just put that, put that animal down as fast as possible. And, um, and that's what we did. So I feel good about it. He died humanely. He died quick. And uh, he'll be great in the freezer from here on out. Unforgettable memories begin the moment you pick up your first browning. unmatched security, fire protection, and storage options, Browning will be with you through a lifetime, protecting your guns and all the cherished memories you make with them. Keep your Browning memories safe. Go take a look. Well, honey, we got it done. Uh, <laughs> didn't take long, we were out. Lucero had us out here for about an hour this morning. We, well, the first bull we saw, and that's the only one I needed to see. And um, God, it's just a beautiful animal, and I'm glad you were here with me, and yeah. we got to experience this together, so I love you. Love you I'm looking forward to the next couple of days, just kind of relaxing and, and enjoying this hunt. Oh, this is a beautiful place. It's awesome. Great hospitality. Everybody here is just wonderful. I mean, I really didn't know what to expect because the first time I've shot a bison, we went out, we scouted, we finally found him. So we stalked up on him, got about 100, 100 yards from him and got a shot. Uh, hit it behind the ear, a little bit high, but it uh, took off, went about 200 yards. We tracked it. Got it with the second shot, it dropped. 
I drew my tag last year, but uh, wasn't able to go because my mom passed away, so we had to reschedule for this year. Mike and Steve worked with me on that. Congrats, bud. Thanks, buddy. Happy for you. Thank you. I got people that keep telling me they're going to sign up, and, and you know, it's like anything else. They put it off and put it off, and then, oh, yeah, I've sent pictures already. A lot of my friends are like, oh, I should have went. I should have signed up. Get signed up. They're almost full. If you get a recommendation from uh, Mike or JR at one of the other pro membership folks, it's going to be, you've been there, done that, I'd go again, this is where you want to go. That's quite valuable to me when I'm planning hunts of this, of this type. It's good to have that experience leading the way, so to speak, pioneering it for me. If you want to match wits with the American bison and truly step foot on the dirt and see what it's like up close and personal, whether you're looking to shoot a meat animal, whether it's a cow or a bull, or really match it with a giant trophy bison, Rancho de Chavez has what it takes and the accommodations are unbelievable. And knowing that Steve Chavez is gonna be your host, you're gonna have a world-class kick-ass time because he does everything over the top and it's everything you can never imagine. We got him located, so look how big that white man is. Yeah, that big, he's a big one. We came upon a, a small herd of, of bison, and they have a good number of, of white or blonde bison here. The brown buffalo are absolutely stunning, but the white buffalo, there was just one in the herd that really appealed to me. Today's my 55th birthday, and I was uh, handsomely rewarded. A beautiful animal, lots and lots of meat. I can't believe he got up though. It's just the animal that appealed to me most out of the herd, and uh, the one I wanted to take. And here I have him for my 55th birthday. A wonderful birthday. Congrats, buddy. My honey baby. <laughs> Happy birthday on Thank top you. of it. Thank you. Nice, Thank you. Happy birthday, hey, man. Thank you. Thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Just a honey, my honey baby, you know? Yeah, look at that coat. He's so thick. I pierced his ear. That's all it known as the ranch. Wow. So you, when you said there was a, a piercing, I was like, there's no tag. No, I, no, I don't have tags. All the ones that are born here don't have it. I shot, shot, shot him through the ear. It took me a second to like, it's really comprehensive. No, I, you know, because uh, you said, you know, shoot him right behind the ear. I was like, well, <laughs> I guess I screwed up. I got him a little too far forward, but. Uh, the guys took great care of uh, co coming and collecting the, har ha the carcass, uh, skinning it out for the taxidermist, getting the meat prepared and transported to a, a butcher shop. An animal as large as a buffalo is invaluable to have that kind of backup. I'd still be out there <laughs> skinning that thing. Great people, great camaraderie, drinks, party, atmosphere in New Mexico with Steve Chavez as a host is nothing short of spectacular. We're gonna give this trip away each and every year and we look forward to going down there. Thanks for joining us on this episode. We'll see you next time.